that sometimes some of you are a sponge that picks up too much energy from your surroundings. And we have to learn how to cut that cord. And you have to know and accept when it's time to let certain people go and let them fend for themselves. Because you can't do you while trying to do someone else. At times, you have to have enough tenacity to know how to put someone out of your life. Not because you don't care, but because their energy is not serving seeing you in a positive way. My spirituality works a lot with symbols and signs. And I keep seeing scissors. And scissors are symbolic of being able to cut. And we cut, but we don't need. So what is it that you have not been able or don't know how to cut out of your life because whatever that is, is precisely what's holding you back from being the better version of you. Who are you not cutting? What thoughts, mentality, behaviors are you not cutting out of your life? What tendencies have you have not cut out of your system? What bad habits have you not cut out of yourself? Habits is not always related to any sort of addiction. Sometimes habits just deals with the way you do things. If you're a procrastinator, that's a habit that you need to cut. If you tend to be a human octopus that tries to do 10 different things at the same time, then you need organization. If you're the one that everyone always comes to, and you don't help yourself to the same degree as you tend to help others, then there's a behavior that you need to cut out of your life. If you keep dancing with good ideas that you never execute because you're always making excuses as to how to put them into order and execute them, the Spirit wants you to cut the way that you deal with those things so that you're able to see them flourish and grow because ideas don't grow by itself. You have to put it into action. What kind of emotional distress do you put yourself through that you have not been able to find solutions and answers for. That's where we're asking the healing. What area of your life do you need that healing? Where is it that you need the Spirit to come and truly divinely touch your life to have the uplift of the energy, the creativeness, the connection, the ability, the answers that you need to be able to propel yourself forward, make the right connection? have the right attitude.